What's up everybody? Bread here. Super stoked today to be bringing you guys a new game for the channel. Into the Breach. Once more, Unto the Breach. That's a, that's a little, uh, Stronghold Crusaders reference slash Henry V William Shakespeare reference for you guys. Uh, but Into the Breach, I can't wait to play this game. It's got, like, super Pacific Rim vibes. That's a movie that I love, Pacific Rim. The second one, a little eh. First one, though, you can't see me, but I'm doing two thumbs, two thumbs way up. So, guys, what is this game? Let me read straight from the, uh, the Steam page. Control powerful mechs from the future to defeat an alien threat. Each attempt to save the world presents a new randomly generated challenge in this turn-based strategy game. Extremely positive reviews, has 10,000 very positive reviews. Developed and published by Subset Games. Uh, we've been playing FTL, so we're very familiar with that. Uh, but guys, I am stoked. This is one of those games, just to real quick talk about it for a second. Uh, first off, let me let me know in the comment section if the audio is good. I tested it, it sounds good to me, but sometimes YouTube's a little different. Um, this is one of those games that when it first came out, I had a strong feeling that I was going to love this. It combines sci-fi, uh, turn-based strategy games, a um, little bit of RPG elements. It has so many of the things that I love in games. I didn't have the time to play it at the time, uh, and I kind of just let it let it blow by. And normally a game like this, if I think I'm going to love it, I'll watch other people play it on YouTube. Um, but I didn't want to spoil it for myself, so it was this weird kind of like... I want to play it, you know? I want to play it, I don't want to watch someone else play it. Um, because I think I'm going to love it. So I'm hoping that's the case. I'm not, I'm not all in on it until I play it, of course, but I'm excited. So I made my profile Omega. We'll full screen in this bad boy and let's go ahead and jump into a new game and see how it plays. Humanity destroyed. Vec threat unstoppable. Mission failed. Open a breach, says Ralph. Time to go back and try again. Hell yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> difficulty normal. I'll take that. See what difficulties there are. Reduced enemy spawn rates. Nah. Increased spawn rates and more alpha vec. Scores increased. Let's try normal. I haven't played this before. Uh, but I am somewhat familiar with strategy games. Ralph Carlson. We can rename the pilot. I don't know, I like this guy. We're gonna give him like a gruff voice. Click to change starting mech for the time traveler. Gain two bonus point bonus XP per kill. So we can choose oh I haven't unlocked these guys yet. Okay. And I probably I'm assuming Oh no no no. Okay. So I can choose from any one of these three mechs. This one looks like an artillery. This one looks like a tank, and this one's just a straight up mech. Oh, I mean they're right here. Cannon cannon mech, artillery mech, combat mech. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Let's just take a second, go slow, familiarize ourselves with the UI. Victory medals. Medals awarded based on how many corporate islands are secured before completing the final island. Okay, we'll figure that out soon. Watery grave. Drown three enemies in water in a single battle. Okay, we unlock new mech squads if we get points. Drown three enemies in water. Kill an enemy five or more tiles away with a dash punch. Okay, we'll figure that out too. And then island secure. Complete the first corporate island. Got it. Okay. So let's see what our abilities are. We can rename our mech. We can change the mech color. Oh, it's all locked. Dang it. Combat mech. Hmm. I'll think of something. I'm not good on the spot. You give me a minute, I'll think of some gold. But put me on the spot, I'm always, I'm always a little slow. Titan fist. Punch an adjacent tile, damaging and pushing it. Okay. We have three health and three movement. The cannon mech fires a powerful projectile that damages and pushes its target. Damage one, damage two. Okay. And then Artemis artillery. Powerful artillery strike damaging a single tile and pushing adjacent tiles. So the other tiles uh, don't don't take damage buildings immune this is my squad I'm assuming I can't change my squad I don't have enough coins all right I mean let's the game's got to give it to me right the game's gonna give me what I need to succeed let's do it 
This timeline will be a vet graveyard. I hope so. So there's four islands, one of which is unlocked. Um, what's up top here? Corporate reputation. Use reputation points to purchase supplies once an island is secured. Reactor core used for upgrading your mechs. We have a power grid. You lose if this reaches zero. Reduced every time a powered building is damaged in combat. So let's not damage power buildings if we can help it. Uh, grid defense. The percentage chance any building will resist damage. Gain power when your power grid is full to upgrade its defense. Huh. Base defense 15, overpower bonus plus 0 out of 25, next plus 2, pilot bonus plus 0. And then saved people. The number of people you saved in this timeline, higher difficulties have more people per building in battle. So I'm guessing this is going to end up being like kaiju stuff, like where we just have to not kill the people, not destroy the buildings, surgically take out uh, these, the Vex, I guess is what they're called, the Vec. I'm looking at their different types here down at the threat scanner area this museum island recreates old earth as it was before the oceans rose and nearly wiped out humanity we got the ceo dewey alms and then environment temperate okay threat scanner i see the vet looks like some flying guys looks like i don't know some kind of big healer and the leader is some sort of boss i mean let's try archive inc head office you've shown up in the nick of time the vet are overrunning our island archive the old earth relics here still have some fight in them. They could help us. There is a combat simulation available to get new commanders up to speed with mechanized combat. Would you like to launch the simulation? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it this time. We should definitely do it to learn. Okay, Firefly is going to attack one of these buildings, which will mess up our power grid. This is the power grid. Whenever a building is damaged, it will be reduced. This is what delivers power to your mech, so it is, if it's reduced to zero, you lose. Enemy attacks. Every time, or every enemy attack is forewarned. Next turn, this one will attack the buildings. However, uh, guys, my reading, sorry. Hover over an enemy to see details about its attack. Combat mech. This is your combat mech. It can punch any adjacent tile. Select your mech now by clicking it. Alright, buddy. And he's got three movement. So we'll move him here. Got it. Click on a weapon to use it. The number of keys will also work as a shortcut. You may not move after you shot a weapon. Okay. And then we'll punch this, this guy. Boom. Suck it. Now he's attacking a mountain. You have to damage it twice to destroy your mech's punch push this unit. It will now attack a new location. Pushes can save buildings from enemy attacks or even make enemies attack each other. Oh, that's sick. End turn. When all of your mechs have used an action or there is nothing left for your units to do, you can end your turn. What I wanted to see was like, I wanted to look at some of the other stuff. There's the attack order up here. I'm sure it'll get to all of that. All right, you halfway destroyed a mountain. What the heck are you? He's attacking me now. Cannon mech. This is your cannon mech. It shoots a projectile that travels in a straight line until it hits another object. Okay. I have a feeling that I want to move here. And punch this thing. Later, nerd. And then we can't move after we attack. Okay. This has to attack in a straight line. And its range is... If we move here, can I shoot across the water and hit this guy? Yes. Sick. Okay, okay, we're figuring it out. I hope. Okay. Ooh, that's not good. Artillery weapons can shoot over obstacles like mountains, but cannot shoot adjacent tiles. The artillery mech's weapon will only damage units in the center tile, while units on the adjacent tiles are pushed. So I definitely am starting to see the, uh, the puzzle aspect of this. 
So my thing is, like, I can blast this guy. It'll kill him and knock him into the water, correct? Does it do a knockback? It should. I actually think this is the play, right? If I shoot them here, these guys both go in the water. So, I mean, I guess if the water kills them, then that's perfect. This unit fell into the water, killing it instantly. Units cannot attack in water. Most non-flying enemies die in the water. And then from here, I can just punch this guy. Nice. Um, I can just in turn, right? Yeah, I know I've got an action available, but like, where, where do I go? Well, in turn. Unless I get points for... I'm gonna say, unless I get points for like, uh... I don't know, my brain's going blank, guys. I'm trying to think stra strategically. Alright, let's see what I can do. I'm thinking I can line these three up and then blast them here. Every mission, you win by surviving until the Vec retreat. Bonus objectives. Kill all enemies before they retreat. It will earn us additional resources after battle. Okay. Oh, our positioning. We can only attack things that are straight. Hmm. Oh, this is kind of sick. I mean, I don't know if this is going to do exactly what I want it to do, but what I can do here is I can push this. Kill him. I can shoot here. I don't know if this is going to do what I want. I don't know if it's going to do piercing damage to all of these guys or not. Deals one additional damage to both if you push them in. Oh, that's our turn. Yeah, that wasn't great. Unfortunately, our building... Uh, this building tile was damaged, so your city power grid was reduced. I feel like we didn't make the most of our artillery guy there. Okay. I'll tell you what. Kill this thing. Kill both of those. And then we're good. In turn. We killed all the enemies, but we did lose a building. There was definitely a way to do that, I think. But. I felt like we did okay. Congratulations on your first successful mission, Commander. I'm confident in your ability to save the planet after such extensive training. Damaged power grid. The power grid connects every corporate island. Any damage it takes in missions will persist. The vet caused damage before you arrive, but there will be opportunities to restore it. Mission rewards. Every mission has different potential rewards for completing bonus objectives. You won't be able to do every mission on the island, so choose carefully. Ooh, I hate having to choose and not be able to finish everything. Power cores. Used to upgrade your mechs. Grid power. Restores your power grid. If your power grid reaches zero, you lose. And then court reputation. Used to purchase items once the island is secure. Okay. Missions with more potential awards will have additional dangers. Defend the tanks. Destroy the dam in battle with less than four mech damage. Let's do Central Museums first. This old earth dam used to generate power, but has little use now. Destroying it will let the river reclaim the land and delay the Vec. So our bonus objective is destroy the dam and end the battle with less than four mech damage. Interesting. Okay. Huh. 
Interesting. So if I want to destroy the dam... Maybe something like this. He can punch the dam. We've got our tank lined up here. Oh, that's right, they're gonna move first. Well, I hadn't considered that, actually. Emerging enemies. An enemy unit will emerge here next turn. You can temporarily block enemies from spawning, but it will damage the blocking unit. Okay. Alright, we one-shot him. That feels like a no-brainer. If I move here, I can shoot something else. I need to understand, this only does one damage, correct? And I can just knock this guy away. Uh, it would... Man, it'd probably be better to actually damage him. Okay. So now they're attacking each other. Or they're attacking this dead zone. That's what I need to start figuring is how can I attack... Make them attack each other. That's the play. This, this doesn't feel great. Oh, no. What happens if I destroy this? Hmm. I'm thinking, guys. I put myself in kind of a pickle here by going forward too much. Let me see if there is a way to... I was wondering if there's a way to restart the mission. Because I'd love to see what happens when I destroy the dam. But I don't know if it's going to give me that kind of... Uh... It's been webbed. They cannot move, but they can still attack. Okay. I'm not killing them fast enough. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take damage from doing that. Hmm. This undoes move. If I move here, that's much better. And I punch down. Okay. This will knock this guy back, and then we're fine, and then you've got to move. I don't want to do this because I don't want to knock myself into that. Just do an extra damage there, and I guess in turn. So you can reset turns. I'd like to not cheese as much as possible. It, it seems to just be a part of the game. I really just want to see... I hate that. I really just want to see what happens when I destroy the dam, though. Oh, they spawned a healer. Okay. Oh, man. That dam still has to go.
Let's go see what happens when I punch the dam. Oh, uh, well, I definitely should have done this a long time ago. Vec Scion. This enemy Scion provides a passive bonus to all other Vec. Killing it removes the bonus. They receive 1 HP as long as he's living and he's flying. Nice. Okay. Well, we destroyed the dam, but we've also left some of our buildings kind of stuck on the other side here. Hmm. I just don't feel like we're doing very well. The fact that these guys all have four HP now is really bad. I can do one damage to something. Let's move up here. Punch him here. Knock him back. Kill him, and then knock the other guy back. I mean, I, I think that's maybe the best move I... I don't know if that's the best move I could do, but... The best one I could think to do. Oh, nice. The building resisted. That's great. This building resisted damage. The chance of a building resisting damage is shown to the right of your power. So it was only a 15% chance. We got lucky. The grid is failing. We don't have much power left. We won. But our power grid took a hit. Hmm. Your mechs look almost untouched. That's a relief. It allows us to assign our repair crews to reinforce the refugee shelters instead. I mean, yeah. We got the bonus objectives, but we lost a lot of power. I don't know if that was good or bad. It felt bad. Corporation reputation. As you secure regions and complete bonus objectives, your reputation with the local corporation will increase. You can spend reputation on supplies at the end of the island. So not yet, I'm guessing. Uh, let's try. I mean... I feel like that was a really bad start. We've got engineers working on two older tanks in this region. They should be up and running shortly after you arrive. Defend the tanks. Okay, where do we start? I feel like our starting position is almost as important as everything else. Um, this thing has to go ASAP. Um, but what I'm thinking is, if I start here, I wonder if I can walk over this grid to here. Dang, I can't. I was thinking, it looked for a second like I could select this one to uh, to drop down. Let's go there. Here and here. I need to kill this thing as soon as the battle starts. He's gonna go first. A pod. It's vital we obtain that pod. It may hold something that'll help us win the war. Protect the time pod. This pod contains equipment from the future. You can collect it with your mech or just defend it until the end of battle. Okay, let's see how they move. Get away from my time pod. Okay. I can't attack in water, if I'm understanding this correctly. Dang, my deployment was instantly garbage. Uh, 
Not being able to attack from inside of the water. I, I'm pretty sure that's the case. And I don't want them to destroy this. Thinking, guys. Oh, that'll push the tank in the water? If I hit here, that'll push him into the... So that was just bad. We undo that move. We are getting wrecked. I know I haven't even like done anything yet, and I'm getting wrecked. Does this work? No. I needed this to be here so I could do that. And then I needed to do this. Okay, let him attack the mountain. Can't attack it? Okay. I mean, that's better than what it was looking like at the very beginning. And will that delay? Yes, it blocked the enemy and it damaged them. Knocking them onto their own spawn seems to be kind of like a sick move. We've got to get our mech onto dry land. If I shoot this here, I kill him. I knock him into the water. That's great. Then we move him here. Punch him onto a spawn location. Move here. And knock him onto a spawn location. Burning forest. This forest... The forest on this tile took damage, turning it into fire. If a unit stands on fire, it will ignite and take damage every turn. So we have protected the time pod. I think that was a pretty sick turn, honestly. Our mech might take a little damage, but I think that's okay. As long as the, um, the damage isn't... doesn't carry over. I think I'm starting to get it, guys. We even stopped a spawning. Damaged mechs. Your mechs will automatically repair all damage after battle. There we go. Questions answered. Um, if a mech is reduced to zero health, the pilot dies and the mech is disabled for the rest of that battle. Oh, damn. Nice. Killed by his own spawn. That's so huge. Okay, they're spawning a lot now. Archive tanks are ready to be deployed. Hell yeah. Okay. Fire projectile that pushes the target. Interesting. Get out of here, nerd. I think that's the play, right? Awesome. Crush him, and then let's deploy here, so that way we can shoot when they spawn. And let's stay away from that area of effect. It's in the turn. It's all about where they move. If they can move on the same turn that they spawn, which I don't know if they can, but it looks like perhaps they can. Okay. Well, that's not great. 
There's a lot of not great stuff. I can kill this guy, no problem. I can push this guy off of me with this tank. This is solved. I can shoot this here. This guy is not doing so great. I think what I have to do is move here and shoot here and push them. That didn't help me there. We'll check that out in a second. Ooh, I... I did not think he would still be attacking there. That's not good. I needed to push him into the mountain area. If I push him, I'll push him into my own mech, which will do damage to him. How many tiles does it push? Yeah, this is not going to do what I want it to do. He's still going to have the attack. Try this. Watery Grave is the achievement we unlock. Nice. So I don't know if this thing is going to take any damage next turn. But he can still push into the fire, which is pretty cool. Nice. Nice, he's not going to take any damage. We did it! The Vecker retreating will monitor the area, but they'll likely regroup elsewhere. That was a nearly flawless victory. Minus a tiny amount of damage we took on our tank, which will be repaired. The Vec have been put down, and old Earth technology is up and kicking. Couldn't have hoped for better. Let's open the, the pod. Pod contents. Archimedes special. Requires one power. Move again after shooting. Skills none. Experience 18 out of 25. I don't know if this is a pilot. And then reactor core. Reactor cores are used to upgrade your mechs between missions. Unlocked in the hangar. Interesting. Reactor cores. You now have a reactor core. Open it. Open the mech upgrade screen and install it. And a new pilot. You can assign them in the upgrade screen. Click to dismiss. Okay. Core installation. You can use this button to install reactor cores in a mech. Each core will increase a mech's maximum reactor power by one. Which does what? You can use reactor power to improve your weapons or power additional weapons. Saw reactor cores to upgrade a mech reactor. Got it. He's about to level. Gain experience to unlock this skill. That's great. Um, requires one power. Okay, let's install the reactor here. The mech reactor can power weapons and upgrades. Activate an upgrade to power it. You can always remove power if you want to put it elsewhere. Okay, I have power available. I'm guessing I have one power available. That should even the odds. Yep, okay. So I can upgrade its dash or I can upgrade its damage. I like upgrading the damage, I'll be honest, over the health. Oh, it requires three power to get that. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, nice. Move again after shooting is a pretty cool ability. You have no skills at all. And this one's about to level as well. It's a sentient machine and requires reactor power to activate its special ability. Okay. I still think that's for the best, maybe. Closer to leveling. 
Protect the power generator, kill at least seven enemies. Let's do one more for the day. I don't know. I guess it, it did say I can't use my corporate reputation until I get to the end. What is this one? Defend the train. Ooh. Well, guys, I'm honestly, I'm expecting not to win my first time playing this. For sure. Um, so I hope you guys are cool with just watching me learn it and try and get better as we play. Let's do one more mission. An offshore volcano is causing tidal waves along the coast and may help wash away the vec threatening the area. Protect the power generator, which I'm assuming is this building here, and kill at least seven enemies while dealing with tidal waves. It will gradually be flooded in water. Let's do it. Okay. We gotta punch this thing in the face. This mission has a special effect that will happen every turn. Mouse over the environment icon to get more information. Go tank there. And artillery... Here. Okay. I'm hoping that if we protect this, we will get... Um, some type of heal to our power grid at the end of this. Yeah, let's see how they move. First things first is to kill this guy. Okay, I'm not I'm not that threatened by this. I can push this guy here. Get him tidal waved. Kill him. And we got to level up, which is sick, because it looks like now I have even more HP than I did before, I think. How much do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that how much I had before? I think I went up to five HP from three. So yeah, I got a nice level up. I don't know if my damage is, is any greater, but anyway. So what we need to do now is push. I can... This guy is going to die, I think, to the water. I just need to push this guy away. So I need to like shoot here and push him here. Or perhaps even better, shoot behind him. Cuz I don't know if this I don't know if his attack goes forward. If it only Like cuz some of these guys they attack and it travels like really far. This one only attacks right in front of itself. So it's going to set the forest on fire. All right, later nerd. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Kind of not good. I can still attack. I can kill the one who's webbing me. Or rather, I can kill this guy. I can kill this guy. Or can I? My mech is going to take damage. What I don't want to take damage is... I wish this thing did two damage. What I don't want to take damage is the buildings. So I think I can move here and shoot down here. This guy is attacking. Yeah, he's preparing to stab me. Let's kill the stronger guy. Who also webs. Oh no, I moved my guy here. No! Reset turn. Yeah, we'll do this once per battle. I didn't even realize that was a thing. I cannot move to the tidal wave. That makes perfect sense. So these guys are all dead anyway, if I'm understanding that right. Right? Except for the flyer.
So, like, you're dead. You gotta go. You will not die. Because you can fly. Just knock you back. And then here, I need to... Knock you away from hitting my building. Interesting. I, I guess the whole, like, roleplay is, like, we've got time travel. Make them waste their attacks. See what pops up here. Okay, tidal wave, not great. Uh, this feels real bad. I can definitely kill him. That's not a question. Um, the problem is I've been webbed. Victory in one turn. I don't know how I'm supposed to survive this. I'm stuck in the tidal wave. And that's terrible. I can't even do that. Damn. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think I'm just plain screwed. Let's in turn and see what happens. We didn't kill seven enemies. Do we die or do we just go in the water? I think we just go in the water. Which means I should have attacked. Hmm. One day we'll find out where those Vec run off to. So we only got one of the objectives done. But we did get some of the power back, we just didn't get one of these stars for corporate reputations. Hmm. Can we do it again? I guess not. But guys, that's gonna be it for me today. I am enjoying this game a lot. I can't wait to get good at it. Right now I still feel like I'm floundering a little bit, but I'm starting to grasp the mechanics. I'm gonna start seeing the better lines uh, soon and the, you know, not just a turn ahead, but maybe even two turns ahead. Two, three, you know, we'll start, we'll start playing uh, 4D chess here in a, in a bit. But that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our first episode of Into the Breach. Hope you stick around for some more. Uh, look forward to some of the early access Total War Warhammer 2 stuff that's coming out soon. Uh, as well as we may jump back into Battle Brothers, another grid-based combat game if you guys are interested. Uh, but that's it. See you later, y'all.